is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Jessica Holbrook, a Payne Gap resident, collided with the mountainside here along Highway 805 in Letcher County at Kona Junction. She was ejected from the vehicle and whenever the vehicle came to rest, it came to rest on top of her, pinning her underneath. The crash occurred around 10 p.m. Tuesday evening. Jessica Holbrook's vehicle hit the mountainside, tumbled, and came to rest in the mud alongside the road. Jessica was thrown from the vehicle during the crash. When emergency responders arrived at the scene, Jessica was lying right here in the mud, saying that she was afraid she was going to drown. According to Deputy Sidney Fields, the mud was actually enveloping Jessica's face as the car pushed her down into the ground. The first responders at the scene attempted to get Jessica out from under the car using wooden blocks and airbags. Deputy Sidney Fields said the rescue efforts did not go well due to the muddy conditions and the airbags used to attempt to lift the car burst. When they was lifting the vehicle up, the, the mud, when they would lift it up, the water would cover her and it would sink her on down in the mud. At that point, the first responders at the scene, Fields, along with two Kentucky State Police troopers, members of the Neon Volunteer Fire Department and May King Fire Department, decided they need to take quick action to get Jessica out and save her life. When the block started sinking into the ground, at that point, uh, myself, along with uh, two troopers from Post 13 and uh, some of the EMS workers and the fire department workers, um, we just lifted the vehicle up and had one of the EMS workers to come through, put her on the backboard and take her on the pipe full. Deputy Fields said when Jessica was freed, she was nearly buried in the mud. When we finally did get the vehicle off of her, um, the only thing that was not submerged in water or mud was just her nose. Jessica Holbrook was taken to Pikeville Medical Center due to her injuries, which includes severe burns, and later sent to Cabell Huntington Hospital, where she remains for treatment. Now, Holbrook suffered some serious injuries, but thanks to the quick thinking of the first responders here at the scene, a tragic situation was averted. Reporting in Kona for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.